I have a Visual Basic application here in which the user enters a name, first and last name. They're going to click the Parse Name button here and have it show the first name and the last name separated out. Let me just run this to demonstrate it. So if I have John Doe and click Parse Name, I'm told the first name is John, the last name is Doe. If I put in my own name here, I'm told my first name is Stephen, last name is Husteddy. So it doesn't matter how long each of the names are, the parse name algorithm should pull out each separate word. Let's take a look at the code. I'm going to go in and double click on the button here for parse name. And in my btn parse underscore click sub procedure, I have three variables, fn and ln for first name and last name, and my name, and those are all string data types. I also have an integer variable called space lock. That's going to be the location of the space in that string. To make things a little bit simpler in writing a little less code, I'm going to set my name equal to the text of our text box named txt name, where the user is entering their name. And then I'm going to find the location of the space in the name. I'm going to assign that to our variable space lock. So I'm using index of here to find the first space. Remember when we put the space in quotes, so it's a literal string. Then I'm going to check to make sure there's actually a space. And so I have an, an if else structure. My Boolean expression is if space lock equals minus one, meaning I didn't find a space, then I'm going to bring up a message box that says you must enter both a first and last name and a title of error. If there is a space, we'll do the else clause, and I'm simply going to set fn, that was my string variable for first name, equal to my name dot substring, comma, uh, substring zero, comma, space lock. So I'm going to start with the very first character, character zero, and the number of characters I'm going to return is the value of space lock. Now since we start counting with zero, and space lock is a character position of the space, and let's say there's a three letter word, such as Ted, space lock would be character three, would be the space is, because T and Ted would be zero, the E would be one, the D would be two, and the space would be three. So by returning zero comma space lock, or zero comma three, it would extract just the first three characters, which would be our first name. And then I'm gonna set LN, in a similar fashion, except here I'm going to look for space lock plus one. So again, if, if the first name was Ted and the space position was character three, I would start with character four, which would be the beginning of the last name. Now I don't have a comma here with the number of characters to return. If I just put one value in the parentheses, it's going to go to the end of the string. So I'm going to start with whatever the, the character is after the space and return all the letters to the end of the string. And then in the message box, we're going to show first name with the value of fn. And I have a control charge.crlf to give me a, a second line. And I'll concatenate to that the phrase last name and the value of ln. And then my title is parse name. Let me just run this one more time. So now that you've seen the code, you can watch it execute again. Put in another name here. I'm going to put in uh, Robert Smith. First name. First name is Robert. Last name is Smith. Here then is the exact same application but written in C sharp. We have our text box of txt name and our button of btn parse. The code for my button. I'm going to have in our three string variables fn, ln, my name. An integer variable called space lock. I'm going to set my name equal to the text of that text box. Space lock is going to equal my name dot index of, and we're looking for a space. That needs to be a literal string in quotes. And then if space lock equals minus one, meaning it didn't find a space, we're going to bring up a message box that says you must enter both the first and the last name. If it did find a space, we'll run the else clause here, in which we're going to set fn equal to my name dot substring, starting with character zero and reading in the space lock number of characters. 
That's going to give us the first name excluding the space. And then for last name, I'm going to start with the character after space lock. And since I didn't specify the number of characters turned, it simply returns all the characters to the end of the string. So that's going to give us our last name. And then in a message box, we're going to display first name with the value of fn. I've got a backslash n escape character. Go down to the next line. Print the little string of last name, the value of ln, and my title for this box is parse name. Let me go ahead and run this. So I put in the phrase Stephanie Johnson, click parse name, and I'm told the first name is Stephanie, the last name is Johnson. So you can see that this algorithm does not matter where that space is located. It simply finds it and extracts letters based on that numeric location.